Welcome to the fifth section of Hands-on Continuous Integration and Automation with Jenkins. In this section, we are going to explore Blue Ocean, which is the new user interface of Jenkins 2. We will see what is Blue Ocean, how to install it, and how to use it. In the practical part, we will create a pipeline job using the visual editor provided with Blue Ocean. Let's start with an introduction to what is Blue Ocean. In this video, we will learn what is Blue Ocean and which advantages it brings. We will also have a preview of what Blue Ocean looks like. There is no practical part in this video, but we will introduce the user interface that we are going to use in the next videos of this section. Let's start by defining what is Blue Ocean. Blue Ocean is the new user interface coming with Jenkins 2. It is designed for creating and running pipeline jobs. However, it still works well with normal freestyle jobs. It is much more visual than the classic UI and has a visual editor for creating pipelines without writing code. It also has nice visualizations, particularly suited for CI and CD pipelines. Let's see which advantages Blue Ocean brings. First, it is a much more intuitive and visual tool for creating, managing, and running pipeline jobs in Jenkins. It is easy to use for anyone in your team, no need to be a CI or CD expert to create pipelines. The visual editor makes it trivial to set up pipeline jobs without writing source code. The user interface also makes it easier to debug an issue in a pipeline job as it pinpoints where an error occurs inside the pipeline. A major feature is the native integration with tools like GitHub and Bitbucket. In particular, the ability to integrate easily branches and pull requests in a CI-CD workflow. In a nutshell, BlueOcean is a more modern UI with a better user experience. However, you can easily switch between BlueOcean and the classic UI while you are getting used to Blue Ocean or managing non-pipeline jobs. Just to whet your appetite, I want to give you a preview of how Blue Ocean looks like. This is the Blue Ocean dashboard, the default view showing, in this case, an overview of all the pipeline projects in Jenkins. You can notice the blue colored navigation bar where you can search for existing pipelines, useful when you have lots of pipeline jobs, and create a new pipeline. The pipeline favorite list shows a list of pipeline projects that the user defined as favorite. This list provides key information such as name, run status, branch, commit hash, time of last execution, etc. About pipelines you need to access often or keep an eye on. The pipeline list shows the state of each project in Jenkins. In particular, it shows the name, the health icon, the number of branches and pull requests passing or failing, and the star indicating if the job has been added to the favorite list. The activity view shows all the activities related to a pipeline. In particular, the navigation bar shows the pipeline names, if it has been added to the favorite list, and tabs for showing activity, branches, and pull requests for a given pipeline. The default tab of the activity view is the activity tab, which shows the latest completed or running execution of a pipeline, and useful information such as build status, number of runs, commit hash, branch or pull request that initiated the build, duration of the build, and when the build was last completed. You also have a button to rerun a specific build or stop it while it's running. One of the advantages of the Blue Ocean user interface is to pinpoint an issue within a pipeline and this makes easier to debug an error. Here is an example of how a failed pipeline execution is shown via Blue Ocean. If a step fails during the execution, it is highlighted in the pipeline visualization and the console log of the failed step is displayed. The pipeline visual editor is another major feature in Blue Ocean. 
and is the simplest way to create a pipeline job in Jenkins. The Visual Editor allows to create a declarative pipeline via a series of predefined steps and automatically generates the source code for you. It is a great way to get started with pipelines in Jenkins, especially if you're not familiar with Groovy or the declarative syntax.